This mission will teach you basic assault tactics using the dual warhead armament of the new missile boat. Your target will be a Rebel Deep Space manufacturing facility and all the nearby cargo containers. You will use advanced concussion missiles to take out the facility's anti-warhead defense system. Then make a standoff attack using rockets to destroy the installation from a safe distance. Then you are to destroy any cargo containers or other craft using missiles or rockets as appropriate. If you wish, you may remain in the area to engage a supply convoy and then a relief force. The cruiser Arjun will arrive to deliver a combat utility vehicle for you to reload your warheads. Remain on constant alert for Factory Station 1 to launch any starfighters or for the arrival of reinforcements. This mission will teach you basic assault tactics using the dual war... Your objective is to practice assault tactics on a fixed installation using the dual warhead capability of Cygnus's new missile boat. You will learn how to choose the appropriate warhead for each target. Specifically, you will learn how to overwhelm the target's defensive anti-warhead system with a saturation attack. Once this is done, you can destroy the facility using your heavy weapons without fear of having your warheads intercepted. In addition, you will learn how to use the sublight acceleration motors. The SLAM is an overdrive that boosts engine output to 200%, providing a sudden massive boost of acceleration. The cost is a rapid drain on stored cannon energy. This technology is a new development that is intended to enable the missile boat to counter the TIE Defender. You will fly missile boat Mu-1. This craft is a development of the successful Star Wing assault gunboat from Cygnus. It is faster and more maneuverable than the gunboat. For more information, see the data regarding the slams. Like all new Imperial starfighters, it is equipped with a hyperdrive and deflector shields. Armament consists of two large capacity twin warhead launchers and a single nose mounted laser. One pair of launchers is dedicated for missiles and holds a total of 40. The other pair is general purpose to allow mission specific warhead loads. There is also provision for special beam weapons. For this mission your craft is armed with 20 heavy rockets in addition to the standard missile load. Also you will have the new improved tractor beam. The only weakness is the energy recharge rate. Due to the single cannon, it takes just over 90 seconds to reach maximum energy levels from the nominal mission start levels. The deep space manufacturing facility you are going to attack possesses defensive armament consisting of 12 twin turbo lasers and an advanced anti-warhead system. The nearby storage yards and the facility itself may also be protected by a number of Z-95 headhunters. You will drop out of hyperspace less than 13 kilometers from the facility. As you close the distance, charge your shield and laser systems to maximum. Attack range is 6 kilometers. If you wish to continue after the facility is destroyed, a combat utility vehicle will be deployed for you to reload your warheads. You may then proceed to attack a convoy and a relief force. Yeah. 
rapid drain of stored cannon energy. The slams shut off automatically when the cannon is drained. Transfer shield energy to the cannon to keep the slams active.
demonstrated the ability to use the missile boat's dual warhead capability in combat against a variety of targets. 